Hey y'all, Carl, Carl and Dawn's Homestead, I'm back. Oftentimes when you're living on a homestead, you think of innovative ideas on how to save money on projects you want to do. And I thought of one that's going to save me some money. I want to make a, put a part in the field by the chickens and the ducks, where if they want to get out the weather to nest, or whatever, um, I'm going to use this old wheelbarrow cover that I have. It was uh, a true temper wheelbarrow. The uh, barrel f fell off the frame, broke off the frame, but anyway, I'm going to use it. I'm going to put a metal roof on it and cut a door for them to get in. And uh, if they want to lay eggs or hatch babies, they can. So today's project is going to be building with my true temper wheelbarrow barrel a nesting area for my chickens or ducks or guineas whatever wants to get in there and lay. So let me show it. Let me show it to you real quick and uh, watch me build this thing. Don't go in the way. Alright here's the wheelbarrow bowl that I'm going to use, or plastic, you can see where it broke off the frame, and the only reason why it broke off the frame, nothing wrong with the, the, the uh, wheelbarrow itself, I broke it, uh, <laughs> running over it with my tractor, anyway, I have this two feet by, a little over two feet, piece of metal roofing, I'm going to go ahead and use some one inch, metal screws to screw it down into it. I'm going to cut out a door here for them to get in and out. I thought about putting it here but the rain will go in there and yeah, it might, not, might be a messy idea. Anyway I'm going to put the door here where it's at least partially covered and if they want to jump in and out they can. There you have it. Don't go nowhere. Let me uh, see if I can get this accomplished. Alright guys, I hope you can see this. What I'm going to do first is cut out the little door. And uh, not worried about being real straight. I don't think the chickens or the ducks are going to notice how straight or how off center it is. Anyway, I'll draw my line where I need to cut. And uh, Let's see, let's go a little more over, a little more over. There it is. Alright guys, I'm putting on my metal roof, and uh, I put one screw on it because it kept flying off and I wanted to show you what I was doing, so, but here, here is a, uh, Max is over there barking, I'm using one inch metal screws with a little rubber to, uh, Prevent leaks. Be good. 
well, two more will be good. I'll get it high enough. There it is, guys. There's your roof. Let me show you from the front. Looks a little bit goofy, but you know what? Who cares? Who cares? It's the way it is on Homestead. I always think of ideas on what you can do to things, do things economically and innovatively. This is a good idea. And I'm going to drill a couple of drain holes in here when it does rain because it's going to be sitting flat on the ground. And uh, I'll also drill a couple of holes to put a couple of anchors in it. That way if a puff of wind comes off, it has to be a strong wind, but it won't fly off. But there you are. Thank you guys for watching. Carl from Carl and Dawn's Homestead. Press that like button, guys. See you next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it, guys. Sitting under that tree. Sometimes you got to think out of the box when you're on a homestead. Save money. And I think that old wheelbarrow cover, or wheelbarrow barrel that I was going to throw away, that I ran over with my tractor, came in handy. Instead of throwing it away, I used it for something here on with materials that I had laying around. That one piece of tin, I cut a little door for the chickens and our ducks to go into. And uh, there you have it. All I have left to do now, I drilled the holes for the drains on the side and I'm going to go ahead and anchor it into the ground so it won't get blown away with the wind. might take a pretty strong wind to do that, but um, there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. This is Carl Carlin, Dorrance Homestead. I am out.